Russia is a society where most people live in small villages in the countryside. They rarely travel beyond the local area. Travel was very difficult and expensive as there were no railways, cars, or planes. People mostly walked, rode horses, or used carts and coaches. Picture a society where most people worked as farmers, which meant they grew crops and raised animals to feed themselves and their families. They did not produce much surplus to trade or sell. They also made their own clothes, tools, and furniture from natural materials. Picture a society where some people worked as artisans, such as blacksmiths, carpenters, weavers, potters, or shoemakers. They made handcrafted goods using simple machines and tools. They often worked in their homes or in small workshops. They sold their products to local customers or merchants. Picture a society where life was governed by the seasons and the weather. People had to work hard to plant, harvest, and store their crops. They also had to cope with natural disasters such as floods, droughts, fires, or diseases. Life expectancy was low, as many people died from infections, malnutrition, or accidents. That was Britain at the dawn of the 18th century, teetering on the brink of a seismic shift. The steam engine was about to unleash an explosion of industries that would transform the very fabric of society. Fast forward a few decades and the combustion engine would ignite another revolution, propelling societies towards a destiny that was no longer confined by geography. But the real game changer? The digital revolution of the mid 20th century. Computers, digitization, and information technology. These were the tools that will reshape our world, enabling us to manage processes in ways never before imagined. We're entering a new era of innovation and possibility. Rockets, space shuttles, and beyond. The sky's the limit for what we can achieve. As we hurtle towards the future, Manufacturing is undergoing yet another revolution. This time, it's all about Industry 4.0. From China to the US, Germany to Japan, and South Korea, established manufacturing hubs are leading the church. But there is one country that is really making waves, Saudi Arabia. With growth rates of 7%, it's clear that this nation is on the rise. Saudi Arabia is already making strides in becoming an EB hub with partnerships with major players like Hyundai. It's an exciting time for the Middle East, as I was able to attest during my recent visits to the region. Now, the manufacturing industry is a behemoth, accounting for an impressive $16 trillion. That's equivalent to China's entire GDP in 2022. And it's not just about the money. Every dollar invested in manufacturing generates an additional $1.8 for the rest of the economy, while every job created in manufacturing supports the creation of 3.6 additional jobs in other industries. For many societies, Manufacturing has been the key to unlocking the middle class dream. But let's not kid ourselves. Manufacturing faces some serious challenges in today's world. Global competition, environmental concerns, and regulation are just a few of the hurdles that manufacturers must overcome. But amidst all this, there is a glimmer of hope artificial intelligence. Ever since a group of professors gathered at Dartmouth College in the 50s 
to envision a future where machines could match human intelligence, AI has been an area of interest that has gone through ups and downs. And now, thanks to the development of deep learning, we are finally seeing the fruits of their labor. From image recognition to automated translations, AI is transforming the way we live and work. And the best part, we are just getting started. Do you remember November 30, 2022? If you are a soccer fan like me, you probably watched the World Cup and saw Argentina beat Poland 2-0, securing a spot in the next round of the tournament in Qatar. However, that was not the only remarkable event that happened that day. OpenAI a small company in San Francisco launched ChatGPT, a tool that was built on their LLM, a large language model named GPT 3.5. They didn't do any marketing, but the news about this development spread like wildfire as people were amazed by the capabilities of this tool. Today, we have hundreds of LLMs deployed around the world, many of them available on smartphones. And this is just the beginning, because generative AI is opening up new opportunities for us. These opportunities will transform manufacturing. The technology is not stopping at individuals like you and me. Corporations will start using this technology through APIs application programming interfaces to create new applications that we cannot even imagine at the moment. This is a game changer for the industry. Can you imagine what this technology can do for manufacturing? Certainly, we need to embrace this technology. How can we improve manufacturing in different ways? One example are dark light factories. These are factories that operate without lights or human workers. They are completely automated and run by artificial intelligence. Automation can certainly increase productivity, quality, and safety in manufacturing. Automation controls the connectivity between all the physical components, creating a smart and efficient system. This is the future of manufacturing. Companies can improve their capabilities to create products and services that cater to the specific needs of customers with the help of new technologies. For example, if I want to order a suit, I can go to my tailor and he can create a perfectly fitting suit. However, a company that can measure me online through my cell phone or my computer, can create a suit and do so massively. This is a huge advantage for the companies and the customers as they can scale and adapt to the changing needs of the markets. How can Industry 4.0 improve the quality of the product? By using applications like image recognition, which can identify defects and errors in the product more efficiently and accurately than human workers, image recognition can reduce expansion costs by up to 50% and increase throughput by up to 30%. The same applies to other fields such as medicine. A computer can analyze an MRI and detect if there is a potential tumor more precisely than experienced doctors with years of experience. This is a remarkable improvement for the quality and safety of products and services. The technology will create a new environment where management can leverage new information. Think about your smart home, where you can control temperature and lighting with devices. You can turn off the light when you leave and turn it on before you return. You can adjust the heat according to your preference. In the same way, we can automate a factory floor with sensors and data. 
sensor can alert us when a machine needs more fluid. We can monitor the temperature and humidity to ensure optimal conditions. We can use a digital brain to update the settings for the factory to operate efficiently and effectively. How can this data help the company? Data is a valuable asset for any company, especially in the era of digital transformation. Data can help us improve not only manufacturing, but also the whole company by providing insights, feedback, and solutions. Manufacturing is not an isolated process. It is connected to other aspects of the company, such as design, marketing, sales, customer service, and innovation. By collecting and analyzing data from different sources, we can optimize our manufacturing processes, reduce costs, increase quality, and enhance customer satisfaction. But data can also help us explore new possibilities for the company by enabling us to embrace new business models, release new products and services, and create new value propositions. Data is not only a tool, but also a strategic asset that can help us to achieve our goals and to create a competitive advantage. Imagine that you're looking for a tool and you cannot find it. You are in a one million square foot factory, a huge factory. What if you have smart sensors that can quickly track the tool? What if you have a factory worker that needs to paint the plane? You want to make sure that the worker is safe and secure. What if you have a sensor that can warn the worker to use a harness? This is how IoT transforms into industrial IoT, where we use information to ensure the smooth and safe operation of the plant. Another application of technology is digital twins, which are replicas of systems that allow us to simulate, optimize, and analyze products before they are developed. We can use digital twins to detect potential defects, discuss the design, and refine the product. When we go to production, we have a product that is optimal for our clients and partners. This technology is already in place and many companies have realized its potential. For management to achieve their goals, they need to challenge the old ways of operating. Our employees, our clients, our partners may be reluctant to change. We need to convince them that there is a better way. Technology can help us to gain an edge to meet the demands of our clients more efficiently. That's what these companies have done. For example, Siemens and Microsoft have integrated the product life management system of Siemens with Microsoft tools. OpenAI is providing tools through Microsoft Cloud Services. This means that factory workers can access the same tools that we have on our computers. Imagine if a worker needs to send a report from the factory floor. He can do it by simply speaking, creating an audio report. It can be in any language because the tool can translate it to the language of the company. The audio can be automatically sent to the right team, whether it's design, manufacturing, or engineering. This is a powerful application. Generative AI is already transforming the factory floors. Smart manufacturing in the dark brings light to industry. The first phase of Xiaomi's smart factory was completed. This stage included a dedicated blacklight factory designed specifically for the production of high-end mobile phones. This factory was highly automated and localized with most of the equipment developed by Xiaomi and businesses invested in by Xiaomi. The second phase of Xiaomi Smart Factory, which is 10 times larger than the first phase, is preparing to start production by the end of 2023. It encompasses a process spanning from patches to car testing, assembly, 
complete machine testing, and finally, finish product packaging. These processes will be applied in the production line of second generation mobile phones. This is expected to result in the production of approximately 10 million smartphones, worth about $8 billion annually. This will represent a remarkable increase in Xiaomi's production capacity, highlighting the potential of smart manufacturing systems. Did you know that planes incorporate a system of batteries? You may wonder, why a plane needs them? Let me explain. Before the flight, there are many devices that need to run, so batteries are essential. There is a system with many batteries that support the operation of the plane before the engine starts. These batteries have to be extremely reliable. To ensure that, you create a virtual battery, a digital twin, and you test it in advance before these batteries are even built. This gives you a guarantee that we can fly from point A to point B safely. This is a viral application today. In today's world, we also need to address our employees' concerns because the industrial revolution has changed the nature of work. In the past, there were small artisans working in their homes or in small workshops. Then we saw the emergence of factory lines and workers controlling machines. Today, we see workers designing machines that will control the process. So the human element is becoming less prominent on the factory floor. But we still need to build these machines. We still need to monitor these machines. So we need to invest in upskilling or reskilling our employees so they can see the opportunity of using these technologies, not only for the benefit of the companies, but also for themselves. The integration of physical and digital components is already happening, and that enables these tools to communicate. For example, logistics, ERP, manufacturing, warehousing systems. They can now be connected and they can make the factory operate smoothly without glitches or unnecessary tasks. At the same time, customization will alter our customers' expectations and we have to be ready for that. And if we don't act, someone else will. Excuse me, excuse me. What? Edgar Perez AI? What are you doing here? How did you come all the way from home? I have been listening to your speech and I believe you forgot something critical in your discussion of the future of manufacturing. Really? Yes, you forgot to talk about this very important slide. It is about the impact of COBOTs in the future of manufacturing. COBOTs? Yes, COBOTs. Collaborative robots that work alongside humans in factories and warehouses. They are one of the most promising applications of AI and digitization in manufacturing. They can increase productivity, efficiency, safety, and quality. They can also reduce costs, errors, waste, and injuries. You're absolutely right, Edgar Perez AI. How could I forget that? COBITs are the ultimate expression of human-machine collaboration. They are the best way to leverage the power of AI and digitization in manufacturing. Ultimately, COBITs will empower humans to focus on work that requires greater cognitive capabilities. Thank you very much, Edgar Perez AI, for bringing this up. You are welcome. I'm always here to help you and make you look great. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Edgar Perez AI, an application of artificial intelligence that all of us can use. So, if individuals like me can use AI, why not our factories? Why couldn't manufacturing leaders embrace these technologies? So, moving forward, the industry will be embarking on a significant transformation. Let's make sure we're going to be on the winning team. How will we get prepared? Embracing these technologies and not running away from them. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you learned something new today.